Cha Cha 2020 went out to the range. We should do that. Went to the show. We are we, doing that. No, no, let's say it all together. Ready? Cha Cha 2020. 2020. See, that sounds way better. All right. Uh, okay. Like the power. be like, well, who would listen to these guys drinking beer? Like, ridiculous. I haven't um, had any beer. I'm not drinking I beer. I haven't had any beer either. And I've only had like one little sip of tequila. Did I drink and all, the did I drink all of this? Empty. No. <laughs> <laughs> this you guy poured me Christ. one. You poured me one. Guys, if you can't get help a gun bag, please get help somewhere. <laughs> like this guy, when you find a good helpful place, give us a call. We're gonna we're gonna help Travis out. We're not trying to ridicule him or anything. No. Nope. But he may have a problem. <laughs> anyway. So far it's been a solution. Crosshairs. They're crosshairs. Um, man, this is a fun one, guys. We we went around trying to find five guns that that yeah. you'll never own, right? For for various reasons. Uh there's one of these I was like what a horrible pick because there are people out there who can own that. Um, but then the other ones are, are things that you pretty much can't own. Was it four? Oh, you yeah, saying four. five. You said five last time. Yeah, well, but I, I held up my five. We almost had a guess, but nobody likes us, so it's four. Uh, we found five. It, well, it, Paul always wanted to do an extra something. Oh, Paul is right? very I privileged. Two. I need two. Yeah, so like, yeah, I had this like 20 millimeter automated gun on this like ATV that was remote controlled, everything, or fully automated with these optics. Um, you can see yourself really well in the optics. <laughs> Pretty funny, though I was like put your lipstick on uh, in the thing. Um, it was classic. It's a good time, right? And um, this thing looked for serious, you know? Not something that we can own. Like if, if I were a naval vessel, you know, or, or, or a, a military, then I guess I can own it. But uh, I am not a naval vessel or a military or an attack helicopter. No, um, not so that attitude. I'm not gonna be able to own this thing. You can identify how you want. It's 2020, bro. I could, I could go that route. Could you gotta identify however you want. 20 mil in 2020. Oh, man, that's great. What did, did you, you find, Did Paul? you plan that? Uh, Besides corny jokes. Same place, right? Uh, the guys at Browning, Sean was awesome and spent a lot of time with us. Browning? So, I'm sorry. They, FN. FN Sean, America. Sean. They, 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 the guys they, have, they stopped FN. making guns for our military a long time ago. Yes, These were the yeah. new people who yes, made they guns did. for us in 2020. Browning? So Sean and FN spent America. a bunch of time with us. And we played around with the with the 240L, right? So this is the the 240. Uh, and, and Paul picks this because he got so much experience with 240. Oh yeah, you know, totally. Walking tall, machine gun man. Yeah, yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. A little Allison change right there. there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And a little drop detuning. Rock on, booster. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? So you know, um, I think it's a cool gun, and I think that. A 240 is ownable, but a 240L for me is not because production started after 1986. It's got some titanium in it to make it lighter weight. It's got an adjustable stock. You guys could probably talk more about the the differences because I mean that 240 yeah, was your gig, right? Seven, yeah, yeah. They did a fully so, polymer uh, fire control group. Um, yeah, they yeah. trimmed seven they, pounds. They dropped a lot of yeah. weight off of it. They yes. make seven from pounds from 34 to 27, right? No, no, 27 to 20. Oh, uh, well, that's a big deal, right there. That's yeah. almost saw weight. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, so saw taking it down to saw weight gives you a 308 Almost, yeah. at 556 five, weight. Mm -hmm. well, That's a big deal. It allows you to carry more ammo yourself there without you the crew. Yeah. You know, yeah. on the gun, it allows yeah. uh, some of these more robust op robust optics for for nighttime and and even you know daylight engagements. So it, it, it does a lot of good stuff, right? It's a uh, it was an impressive little little highly wieldable package. I yeah. guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. So, so I, I won't own it because I can't legally. I won't even own a 240 though because I did some math. All yeah, right. we did this. We talked about this. One thousand eight hundred dollars an hour to run that gun. Yeah. And that's not including the initial investment of of the you gun. know a fully automatic receiver, an NFA item, right? Right. Which right. is going to be eighteen grand, right? Oh no, it's going to be more than that. No, I, I, I found some. Did you for sale okay. for eighteen? Did you count the batteries in your optics that's on it? Right. right. I mean, you're, right. You're this is going. This is getting expensive. Eighteen thousand dollars to links? buy it. Eighteen hundred. No, that was linked ammo. I, okay. I factored in linked three hundred eight, but eighteen hundred bucks an hour. Can you stop questioning Paul Carlson? That's fair. What the hell is your problem, dude? You, you, guys, you guys leave that little fellow alone. I'm, I'm nobody, sorry, Travis. <laughs> we, we didn't mean to ridicule right you, poor little feller. So poor little shaver. I, you know, I thought about this after we left. Like I should have asked him, but you know, they made this gun that light. Did they make? I wonder, I wonder if they've they because our tripods that we've been using on on 240s yeah. are. I think they're the same ones that, that Dan Daly and Smedley Butler used yeah. way back in the day. So they they've been reducing weight a little bit over time. Yeah. Yeah. So the the from but it's same design, same exact design except different materials. Hey, once you get it right, bit. I guess you get it right, right? Yeah. yeah. It's always worked. So. And it's also good to have, like, when you're handling a tripod. You know, there's always a little bit of fear, 
in your body. The way that, that, that the, the front leg there flops around on you, the way the, the, the crossbar action comes together, like you know, you've lost skin in it before. Yeah. You remember oh, that sure. time you lost <laughs> yeah. skin in it before, right? And so every time you handle this thing and you're deploying or, or packing it up and trying to and trying to bounce, like you're, you've always got just a little trickle of fear in your body handling a tripod, right? Like it, it's, it's good to have gloves on. You know? I'm, I'm cracking up, I'm like, yeah, man, right on. No, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> operational these days. <laughs> cool, man. No, 240 is a great pick. That, that's awesome. I've been love to have 240. David, did you pick anything? I did. What'd you get? Six hour 338 Norma Mag machine gun. Um, we've already talked about it some. Hopefully, we'll talk about it more by the time the video comes out. I'm not going to own it because it's a machine gun and it's too rich for my blood. Love the entire concept. Um, I, I was familiar with it at a basic level, and then I actually went over to uh, Soldier Systems and read Eric's piece on it, and I kind of I agree with him. You're talking about a weapon system here that can reach out almost as far as a 50 cal. It weighs less than an M240. It's treating targets out past, what, 1,500, 1,800 meters or 1,800 or even further as point targets that would traditionally be area targets. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, it's got that reciprocating barrel so to reduce recoil. Um, I. I it weighs as much as that 240L. Yeah. Right? And it's in 338 normal magnum, not 716 yeah, by about 51. That you were yeah. zapping people way out mm -hmm. there. So so break break down for uh, us non-military folks. What's the difference between a point target and an area target? What's Well, you're a machine gunner. So uh, a point the, target's a person. You're a point okay. target. Right. An well, area I mean, target. Not right this moment. No, no, no. Not yet. No. no. But, but you, an keep, area you guys keep be... saying ridicule, you might be one. <laughs> <laughs> right. But anyway, so a, a point target's a person. That's what right. I'm shooting at. An area target is a building, a car, a group of people. Got it. So that's the difference. Now, an area target is much bigger, so you have it's a whole thing. You know what? We could talk about machine guns all day, but no, I'll let it go. Just make it simple. You can you adjust. You can adjust, I can adjust my fire on a point target to gain point of aim, point of impact by manipulating sights. Right. You're because right. My gun is capable of that at that distance with the ammunition I'm using, given atmospheric variables and everything else. An area target is your calling fire, basically. You're, there's a beaten zone. Yeah. Once I, I, I get past the ability of my gun to engage a point target, point of aim, point of impact, then there will be deviations in the fire that's coming from my gun. Yeah. So, and it's going to create a cone of fire that lands in an area. Right. And so I would place the center of that area on the center of my aiming area where I want my, my body to And any hood's going to be fine because you've got a big yeah. area. Right. And, and well, a, good, a good machine gunner can shrink or grow that cone of fire a right. little bit. You, right. you get to remember, so not, you're, not any hit is good because you're, you, you're putting multiple rounds into there in the hope of hitting what may, there may just be a person in yes. there. Well, no, I mean, you know, machine gun's main purpose is to suppress the target, yeah. so. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I, but I also so. can't help but wonder, and, and I would want to see how the 338 performs, you know, with, in more detail than I have now, but I'll bet that you could be hitting targets with direct fire that previously you could only get with plunging. Right. I'll bet. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that, that 338 normal magnum is going to go a little bit further than oh, that yeah. 762 by 51. Well, I, I'm, I'm curious what, um, you know, it's going to be flatter shooting at your closer distances mm -hmm. than the 308. Yeah, right. So your grazing fire is going to be very affected. Yeah. Uh, and grazing fire is basically waist level out there. Because you know, that's where, if you're talking about somebody's uh, an assaulting force, uh, you're trying to put out a lot of grazing fire and hopefully what's referred to as enfilade fire, where you're shooting down the long axis of the attacking, you know, bad guys. Um, so your, your projectiles aren't going across them, like it's going straight down the long axis. Of them. And uh, that's where we're getting a lot of damage. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but, so great, no. that grazing fire with a flat shooting gun. Um, and then with that yeah. polymer ammunition, right? They've got lighter. A, yeah, it's lighter. That's going to thirty percent lighter. So your your a gunners. Oh uh, yeah, even the logistics yeah. tail. Yeah. You're going to be able to carry more yeah. of it for the same amount of weight. Now you talked about that, but also talk about you know um, cover penetration. That yep. bigger round's going to pierce through cover better. Right. And, it's and what kind of ammunition they're going to have for it? Yeah, that armor are piercing easy, is that's quickly changeable, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Have so. they even thought about the impact of the plastic on the ocean though? I don't know. How but many how many oceans are in the Middle East? <laughs> it's gonna kill the turtles. None yet. I, you know what? My kids. I didn't get to see dinosaurs. So I don't care if my kids see polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't agree with that. <laughs> that is not oh. the official position. Of gun bag of gun bag we're out. Three animals kill for fun: <laughs> dolphins, yeah. humans, and polar bears. I don't feel it. Like dolphins what? Bad. Three human, three animals kill for fun: dolphins, humans, and polar bears. What about I don't tigers? Feel bad. Don't tigers? Not seals. for fun. They have a purpose. What about baby seals? Did baby seals kill for fun? 
No, I, was, I thought Club you were saying okay, we're not using any of this. I thought you were yeah, saying animals serious. that you yeah. would kill for fun. <laughs> no, animals, <laughs> animals that kill for I fun. I thought you were saying animals I would kill for fun. No. I'm like, well, okay. A polar bear will kill us something just for the fun of killing it. So will a dolphin. So will a human. So will Travis apparently. <laughs> Uh, but right. yeah, so 338 so, Norm Magna machine gun from SIG. Um, there may be some competitors on the road having adopted adopted officially, but I think it's it got the SOCOM safety certificate. That's why the first Norma, step not Lapua? Length of I, I'm gonna say length of cartridge. The Norm was shorter. Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Yeah, so that means a shorter action, smaller right. receiver. Right. And it would totally look good. Remember space above normal. and beyond? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You're looking for space above and beyond. Normal is Norm's space above and beyond. Too. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would look good in that show. So I don't yeah. know what that is, but okay. That's because you're like 12. Speaking of 12. Okay, Boomer. Is this MAGFED? <laughs> the 338 normal MAGFED? No, it's belt fed. It's not MAGFED? No, it's So you can't get MAGS for that. I have no idea. They come MAGFED. <clears throat> not, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Give it time. Anybody else? I have the, uh, the Beretta Double. Talk it's to the, me. The one everyone made fun of. It's the DT11. Well, I think you made fun of it because it, out of all of our picks, it is really the only one that's obtainable. Yeah, you could actually buy it. The reason you won't buy it is because it costs as much as a car. Like the, the lowest MSRP is nine grand. The one I want is eighteen nine. So you're doing a double barrel shotgun. Yeah, I'm and doing a double barrel shotgun. Boomer. Yep. Right. Yeah, it goes full circle. You guys want machine guns. I had machine guns. I'm bored of machine guns. Well, the Marine Corps took the fun out of it. He probably He's probably not going to put a uh, an optic on it and have to you know decide which red. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, no LPVO on that. Shot. You think so? Yeah, if the birds are out. What kind of ridicule, ridicule would you put on that? Well, <laughs> what, what makes this shotgun tech. awesome? So uh, first and foremost, it comes from Beretta's DT10 series. If you guys aren't shotgun nerds, that was kind of for the longest time it was a standard of you know the champion skeet and trap shooters. Mm -hmm. So the DT11, the receiver is three millimeters thicker. So it's heavier. So you got to figure the people that are shooting an eighteen thousand dollar gun are shooting it a lot. Yeah. That's the thing with trap mm -hmm. guns is they're not collectible items. You shoot it a lot. And the double E double L means you can drop the trigger out and replace it because that's the first thing that breaks when you're hmm. shooting. Like these guys, the guys that are shooting professional trap are shooting more than any three gunner. And this is this is over under, right? Yes. This is an like, over under shotgun. Is that like John Wayne's Greener? No, this? no, no. This is an over under shotgun. It has a single trigger, a selector, so you can pick <clears> your barrel. And the reason it has that selector is because uh, different chokes. So if you're shooting doubles and skeet, one gets a little further before right. the other, or right. doubles and trap, things like that. The three millimeter receivers, it's wider, so it's heavier. So the balance is in the center, so the barrels are lighter. Mm -hmm. So when you swing the gun, yeah. it's gonna swing a lot quicker and it's gonna stop like that. Right. Because all the weight's in the ass end of it. That makes sense. Yeah. It was a, a nice looking shotgun. It's, it's a beautiful good. shotgun. Well, for that kind of money, it'd yeah. be a nice looking if you're an, handy. If you're, a, you know, you're an oil baron, Right. Or does the <laughs> back of the receiver or. have a pick rail on it? I mean, could we put a stock on it that has a knife in it? No. No, you can't. You can put one of those pop up red dots. You see, this gun has what's called dignity. <laughs> Unlike so, Paul here's, the, here's the coolest thing about it. If Unlike you, the guy who chose it. I'm not sticking up for him anymore. You no, don't find me. It's, Listen, here's what you can do. If you buy one of those yeah. guns, you can send your measurements to Beretta, yeah. and they will handcraft that stock in foreign to your measurements. Yeah, which, which, is, which is what they should do. It's yeah. kind of like that, that world. Yeah, 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 because yeah. yeah, that's going to get you the yeah. most speed on, there's, there's on those folks little pigeons. Italy really drives a lot of that market with a few different companies, and there's a lot of guys that, I got a friend who deals with those shotguns, um, they often fly people to to factories, yeah, absolutely, and, to be and fitted, do and a lot of testing to pick out your to pick out your wood. Really tune a shotgun, you know. So you don't have to send the measurements of what you want your wood to be. You can go there. They, they and, measure the wood for you. Get you get exactly the wood you want. Guys, thanks for watching. I hate all of you. Four things that uh, you can't own, right? Boom. Boom. There you make fun of my beautiful wife. <laughs> I was <laughs>